Hey everyone and welcome back to Zoo Sicily. Today, finally bring in the artworks on meerkats as promised in the last episode, including a little vinery. But how we get there, this is gonna be part of the wonderful video today. But before we start, let me just tell you, this took ridiculously long and I'm going to explain you why. Um, a couple of things before we are going to start. So first of all, my voiceover is not going to be super long today, simply because my voice is still not recovered. It's very hard for me to concentrate on uh, speaking for a longer time because of the nosiness and stuff. So I'm gonna keep it rather uh, short today in the voiceover, but we're going to have a little bit of a real-time part in which I'm going to show you around because this is only part one of two of this area. Um, I'm not going to spoil what part two will be because it's gonna be rather cool. Um, so yeah, you are going to uh, witness today a wonderful build um, which I had planned, well actually super long because this is one of the, let's say two or three things I had in mind before starting the uh, project overall. Now, um, you, I, I have included something at the beginning here. So I have talked about the fact that I'm using free build and there is a kind of cool trick with free build where you can build like bridges as you can see over here and then people walk over and kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, invisible bridge. However, spoiler alert, this is not gonna stay because it uh, unfortunately seems that whenever you start the game again, this is gone and uh, the path is relocated to the ground, so um, that's a little bit of a pity. I managed to, you know, <clears throat> get all the people uh, in and everything worked, as you can see over here. Did a couple of little tricks, raised it and then just uh, used the terrain trick to just make sure everything is gone. And then people actually walked over the bridge, so really cool, but unfortunately it doesn't work. But let's talk about what worked, and I'm so happy about this. Now... I talked to you guys in the last episode that I wanted to have this little stream of water meandering through this area. Now, there are a couple of things to this water. So, first of all, meerkats and water is basically not the best combination in the world. However, I checked some images on Zoo Chat and stuff and uh, it just made sure that this is possible. Um, however, the water has to be super shallow, like super shallow, so that they can't drown in it. Um, you know, they, they, they like to wash their hands and take a little sip from it, <clears throat> do some drinking here and there, you know, everything is fine. But um, at the end of the day, you have to ensure it's not too deep so that they don't die. You know, that's what we don't want. Also, <clears throat> one thing I, um, I had not had in mind, but you guys told me to use the artwork as well. And I think this is good because those two share the habitat. And um, truth to be told, I think I wouldn't have had the artwork in any ways um, in a different habitat. So it makes perfect sense to have it here. <clears throat> However, gosh, the voice is very bad today, um, but, you know, um, I'm, I'm trying my best to bring this to you guys because I'm so happy about this. Um, so the first build, um, what you're seeing right now is uh, cut down already, but <clears throat> it took me over six hours already for this build, what you're going to witness today. So yeah, brutally long, um, but it was really worth it. Now also, one thing that is uh, in particular important is that I had so many things in mind for this area that I needed to combine uh, that it was ridiculous to bring them all together. So first things first, um, the uh, habitat for the meerkat should be the the leading element of this area. So we have this kind of big U form that goes all the way around. It's like it has like this uh, central pit in the in the center um, where they can you know dig their holes, just go and hide for a bit. Um, I'm gonna put some. Um, other little hiding spots in later on. We are going to have the art walk. We are going to have like a really big barrel in there, like a wine barrel, uh, in which they can go and have a little sleep, uh, which is kind of cool because that works. I have hidden in uh, a burrow in there so that the art walks also do go in there as well. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I just, just in general, I like the way it is. I like the way it works out. Um, but then we also have like little elements like this over here. We are building this uh, tiny little water flow um, using decals to make it even look a bit more, uh, you know, watered and, and wet. Um, this is kind of a trick I just developed uh, during the build of the last episode, the river, and it worked out pretty well that um, you use some some darker decals so it looks as if it is um, wet, you know, um, and then you just need to have like a little bit of a water element in there and all of a sudden it starts to look good. Um, so I'm really happy with how this water dribbling area looks. And so we don't want to have like huge flowing water. So this is just like water dribbling down. Um, however, I incorporated like a little bit of a kids area because I don't know if you guys had the same, but when I was a kid, um, I used to go to these like big playing grounds and they also had wonderful areas where you can, you know, have a water pump and then you just pump the water 
water from like the hillside and then it just runs down and you could build like little canals and just with sand and stuff that was always like huge part of my youth and I, I loved it um, and you know playing with water in general is good so I incorporated like a little area here where the kids can stand and just like use the pump to pump more water in obviously I need to use a VFX effect so that the water is coming out all of the time but um, yeah that's the idea so that there is like this little area where the kids can stand and make it splash as if I uh, told it uh, them over here um, so yeah they can just like go for the lever and just pump a little bit and then water would come out I think it's like a beautiful little things to um, thing to have the kids incorporate into the habitat and yeah, you can see how the area is slowly starting to come together. But the real star of the show is going to be the winery. And I, you know, this is this is part two when the winery is finished. I'm going to do a lot of things over here, which I'm going to show you in the real time part. But it's um, rather important to speak about the fact that this was a very hard build. Now, I wanted to incorporate as many buildings as possible in here you also can see some exhibits which is going to be exciting you will see this already today but they will be part of um like a bigger part of the next um, episode uh because this is just for the moment <clears throat> And I want to do even more like that because I feel like the idea is kind of cool. So um, we do have this and um, we do also have a little bit of space left in the in the backyard, so to say, of this winery, as you can see already. It's going to be very tough to bring it all together. Oh, by the way, by, uh, if you didn't uh, notice this yet, but you will certainly notice this later, uh, I downloaded these wonderful... Um, cobble pieces from the workshop so these pieces i've used already in as i've seen maybe in the kids area and i will use later on for the roofing as well um they are not a mod or anything they have been in the game and for whatever reason frontier took them out but they still remained in the code and someone just took them out of the code and uploaded them as a blueprint to the workshop so you can download them out just go for like cobble pieces and you'll find that from the workshop um it's super useful because these are actually the in-game cobble pieces that match exactly with the cobble path um, and you don't need to use a million different eggs for example like i did in the past and destroy your fps speaking of SP fps i um already am destroying my fps so we are already below 60 fps what shall i say um i'm just going nuts here in this project whatever uh <clears throat> it's actually a lot of fun building in here so um yeah because this second part of the video will most likely be featured featuring the winery and a bit of a nature work on the habitat i'm going to stop my voice over here and you've got well over six, seven minutes of uh, time lapse ahead of you. I really hope you guys enjoy the time lapse. I'm going to put the music a little bit higher so you guys have some cool background chill pop music from the Planet Zoo soundtrack, which I'm still a huge fan of. And if you fancy doing so, you can already hit like on the video because you hopefully like it until this point in time. I mean, if you're listening to this point in time, you most likely like it. Um, but yeah, um, you'll hear more from me at the end of the episode in the real-time part. It's going to be around like 17-ish minutes, I guess, where the real-time part is starting. So uh, I see you there. Uh, if you fancy skipping, don't do this, uh, but uh, you can do so. Um, and if you don't want to skip, <clears throat> have, a, have a lot of fun now with the rest of the wonderful time lapse. So I see you after the cut in a couple of minutes.
So we are standing right in front of the wonderful habitat. And as you can see, this is the view you got when you come from uh, the koala area. And on the right hand side, we've got the, um, the lion theater. And in here, we've got the sunken in habitat for, as you can see, the meerkats and the artworks, which are already enjoying the area. Um, there is a little bit of a thing I changed, as you can tell over here. There was usually the water stream going through over here. The problem is we need to have our keepers somehow go here. And as you can tell, um, it's a little bit of a problem. So I needed to do exactly this, as you can see over here. Uh, dig it down so that the keeper can go over into this area um, Yeah, it was a bit of a stretch uh, to do this to be completely honest with you guys, but um, th There might be a different uh, thing like a different solution to this uh, I have some ideas, but I'm gonna do this in the future at this point We also have a little bit of an issue with um, Collision um, so the people are like cramping in here because uh, this seems to be the most famous area for the moment However, I'm just gonna storm around because there's not really that much you can see I left some areas very untouched there need to be some fences in here um, some of the fences I did already close off as you can see um, <clears throat> This area over here is also pretty blank, but I, you know, I won't do too much about this. Um, I will actually leave the meerkats um, getting some babies and stuff, so we have actually quite a lot because this is a ridiculously big habitat. But one thing I'm super proud of is this: I made myself my own oleander. Um, as you can see, different versions of it. Uh, you've seen that in a time lapse, I guess. Uh, I think I left it in, and oh, it just adds so much to the area. It just adds so so much. Um, the combination of plants is good, but this just just adds so much to this. this and Italy vibe. I just love it. Um, yeah, a couple of little things I need to adjust here and there, but let's go over the bridge while there is like a huge pileup of people, but we are just going to go over the bridge. This is already the restaurant area, but fear no more. This is not going to stay this way. There's going to be a lot more detail. <clears throat> um, we do have like wheelchair access on this side over here. Um, even though you might seem okay, the middle is maybe even better, but this is gonna turn into a custom staircase. Um, at this point, I just left it uh, untouched because I still need to, you know, juggle around with where is what. But this area over here gives you already quite a decent idea of what I've been doing. And oh my god, I'm so happy! Like, look at this. This looks already pretty de detailed and pretty much uh, what I want to go for. Um, because these things, like, I had this idea in mind uh, to put like these exhibits in. Uh, wooden wine barrels, like empty wine barrels, as you can tell, and I think this works beautifully. Um, even though I think you can't see an animal right now because they are most like, oh no, you can look at that. There's one of the scorpions just underneath this thing. Um, truth to be told, I did not really focus too much on if you can see them or not. I know eventually you will be able to see them. Uh, in here, there should be the gila monster. Oh, look at that, it's actually in here. Oh my god, that works so good, that works so well. I did not know that this works so well, but yeah, um, I changed a couple of settings so that um, all the uh, kind of enrichment items are looking quite good in these barrels. And obviously, if we just hack into this corner, oops, it, now I just made myself okay. We, we have to change the camera, anyways. Let's go to the free light camera and go. And obviously, as you can see, this is still part of the habitat. I just crammed it in, and sometimes you even, yeah, as, is, as you can see over here, some of the scorpions will eventually be outside. The same goes for the other Gila monster, which. Uh, might be outside of it. Uh, bloop, 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 bloop. I can't find it right now, but it's not too important. Maybe it's also down in here, hidden in here somewhere. I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. It doesn't matter because we have the one on this log, which kind of looks really, really cool. Um, I gotta have to put some barriers in front so that they don't stand inside of the barrel. But other than that, um, this is pr pretty much the area we are in. As you can tell, this is going to look really cool once it's done. Uh, I need to use like a lot of wood, um, make sure that some of the things that stick in here are hidden away. Um, we're going to make like a little bit of an order area. So we use the, uh, you know, free build mod to put like a, a shop in here as well. Um, we are going to make this restaurant feel a lot more alive, some light bulbs and stuff. And then there's going to be something happening in the back here, which I'm not going to tell you quite yet. Um, as you can see, I just made sure that everything is like dressed up as best as I could. Um, there's like another oleander tree. Oh gosh, I love it so much. It just adds so much to the area. Look at that. Um, yeah, let's just quickly fly over so you guys get an idea of how it looks from above. Um, so this is the area and I think, you know, this fits insanely well in here and if you connect this with all the buildings like one thing i have to do which uh obviously i'm not the biggest fan of uh, but i have to do is like a connection of the backstage that goes down in here simply because we don't have any other access to this area and um i'm not entirely sure like we have like super wide uh, path 
areas in which the uh, backstage vehicles could work and could drive you know that's something uh, also to keep in mind for this project i will have to connect the backstage on here and we definitely have to make like a bigger backstage connection uh, on this side which i'm not entirely sure of how i'm going to do this or i'm going to make like a super super like long roundish thing which comes over here uh, one challenge for the future is also what we're going to do with this area i have a certain idea what we could do um not entirely sure though but uh i'd love to to have some sea lions or something in here but maybe this is a bit of a too small area uh, we're gonna see maybe if you guys have an idea what could go in here like we do have the wombat on this side so maybe sea lion is not the best uh, connect any house but yeah if you have an idea what could go in here maybe the African penguin can go in here uh, which would be like a nice transition into the African area I think actually the African penguin would work really well in this spot anyways uh, you guys are up to comment for that not sure if you guys are in for it or not but um yeah, that's that. I really enjoyed building this so far. I hope you guys are as excited for the future as I am, because I am certainly super excited for it. And now make sure to comment down below what you want to see and uh, what you could imagine in this area. Look, there are so many spots left. As I said, this is going to be backstage access. Uh, this is going to be like most likely just a bit of a, you know, a nature stuff and so on. But then we have got all this stuff in the back free and <clears throat> like I will fill this next okay so this is pretty much set in in stone what is going to be here not here but here um and also i think african penguin could really work well but you can comment if you have another idea and then we have to find our way somewhere in the uh, upper area which i'm really looking forward to filling that in because it adds so much to the angle of the zoo uh, we definitely have to hide this ugliness of the of the fence um and also these buildings over here we have to make the transition look nicer but overall the zoo is really shaping up nicely and i'm really looking forward to the future anyways i said that 10, 10 times now so i'm just going to position this here hit play you can see some movement and um yeah if you guys enjoyed today's episode as always i would be super happy if you happy happy <laughs> happy if you uh, would consider subscribing to the channel it helps me out a lot reaching my targets and telling the youtube algorithm that you like my stuff so uh if you haven't subscribed yet but eventually came across my content um i would be more than happy if you could press that red button and join the channel. Now, that said, I wish you guys a wonderful, wonderful week ahead. Uh, hopefully you guys have a lot of fun. Stay safe, everyone, and goodbye.